good morning today is our fourth day in Paris and we're currently packing to check out of this hotel and then we're going to do some sightseeing check out the Eiffel Tower and then the Notre Dame today maybe Sacre and Montmartre as well and then we have some fun evening plans as well we're going to Frenchy which is this really nice um, French restaurant Frenchy French um, and after that, we're also going to be visiting Moulin Rouge, which we're really excited about. So we'll take you along. Today's a very busy packed day. We are checking out of our hotel now. Um, some good news. I just got a call from Chanel at Rue Cambon, and they're saying that they have my personal affinity. The business affinity that I wanted, which is a tiny little tote bag in black, which is exactly the one I wanted. And this hasn't been in, in their collection for a couple of years now. I had one a long time ago and then I lost it. So to have that come, like to get a call saying it's available, I'm really excited. We're going to go pick it up. So I don't know if I'm going to go for any more Birkin searches. We'll see. Guys, we're at the Rue de Université, which is exactly where a lot of the beautiful pictures get taken. You can see it's a busy spot. We figured rather than doing like your traditional going up to the Eiffel Tower, we should find spots where we can best appreciate it. Vivek is busy trying to get some shots. Honestly, we were told this place would be really busy, but it's not that bad. Guys, this is just incredible. Look at that. 1.30 and the line is still right along the building. Look at this. All these people. This wraps around and all these people have reservations. All of them. They overbooked. Here's the menu while we're waiting outside. They have a cardi beef. Guys, so we went into the Chanel store and unfortunately um, our lady thought that we wanted the larger business affinity and that thing is such a chonker. It was like she had a black one, but it was such a chonker. I just had to say no because it's too big. And so it we walked like out. Size, it, it looked, looked like, like a medium, but it was still really steroids. big. Yeah, it yeah, was yeah. Like Caviar leather, silver hardware too. It's Not like even. What happens over time when, you know, as you age, you just become like, you know, and the bag was also. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like two years ago. I told American you size. It's like, it's yeah, so it was really, really big, and with a very heavy heart, but happy wallet. I had to say no. <laughs> I have one more shot, one more shot tomorrow of trying to get either a Birkin or a Kelly and I'm going to take it. I mean, you technically have a Kelly. I have a Kelly, okay. another but another, another Kelly. This is a bootleg Kelly, you know? You know what I'm saying? Bootleg I Kelly. I, I worked my ass off to get that one. 
you really did. I have so many people on Instagram sort of messaging and asking, how did you do it? And you know, we have to let them know how we did it, the whole process. We had one week. The YouTube title should be um, Seven Days to a Birkin or Seven Days to a Kelly. Okay? Seven Days to a Kelly in Perry. Seven Days to a Kelly in Perry. You like that? You like that? minutes away from the Louvre. We decided to walk from our hotel um, because we couldn't find any taxi or Ubers. We're walking. So here we are and we're really glad we did because we haven't walked enough and in Kansas City we never walk so it's good. Two more efforts. 
We're gonna go eat after that. This is why I love him because he supports my endeavors and like eggs me on. So there well, we go. I mean, we have nothing to lose at this. We point. have nothing to lose, and like we've today, seen a lot of the traction already. That we yeah, have. exactly. And um, we, yeah, we went to the loo. We've seen the, the attraction. I think I think we're 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 gonna see how far we can get with this. Yeah. George V was a no. I don't think it's even worth it because I don't know the sit, the setup of yeah. where to go and uh, we didn't explore this location as hard as we explored the flagship. Like where to go to stand and yeah, we've only been here like twice before this, right? Or once? Once, only once. Once, yeah, we only came once before this, and the lady was just straight up like. I mean, she was a gatekeeper at the front entrance. She's so a gatekeeper, correct. She's like gonna ward off as many people as possible. Yeah. And I think the the option should have been like, okay, I'd like to take a look at some wallets or some other leather goods, but. Like the store wasn't busy. It wasn't busy, no. Um, but I also think that we came at around, it's 1 p.m. lunchtime, yeah. probably busy. Yeah. Like uh, busier with not enough staff. Right. So I, uh, yeah, I don't think um, there were people to help. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. But I say we eat and then yeah. we go and um, try our luck with uh, the other store after. The FSH main main section. Yeah. yeah. We could even come back here, but I don't even know where to go. That's I don't even I'm, know where to go. Yeah. I don't even want to go anywhere anymore. No, I, we, we need to eat, that's why. That's why, yeah. We didn't eat anything all day. We just, I just had a hot chocolate earlier today, and he had a coffee, and it's now... One o'clock. One o'clock, and we're starving. Yeah. All right. All right. See you later. Hi. We are right now at an Indian restaurant. The first one that we found in a really long time. I mean, a lot of the ones here in the city center have like they just look weird they don't look like they're it and so we found this spot and we're so hungry right now the menu looks really good as well it's just so interesting to see like indian dishes like in french like boule tikka it's like what anyway um so i'll show you around it's really nice it's raining outside so it's a really nice spot that's the big there, trying to figure out what to order. And I love this spot. It's so cute. I mean, this weather calls for some masala chai. actually got in. Oh, these ones. Okay. <laughs> yes, that's right. Thank you. Merci. Hi. We just got done with the opera about an hour ago. An hour ago. Honestly? We might have taken a quick nap. Yeah. It's not our thing, I guess. We did it for the art though. Um, yeah, it, was, it went on for way too long and the opera singer was singing in French so we had no idea, no context. Everybody else was like 20 years older than us and we were like the only two 
and got and got all the way at the back, yeah. right? Just falling asleep. But we were glad that it's over. And then we were walking down the street because we wanted to take some photos in front of the Eiffel Tower at night. Um, and then we came across this really cute cafe called Chez Francis. Chez Francois? I don't know. Um, and the seating is just so incredible. Look at this. Thank you. We got the Eiffel Tower there. It's much bigger IRL than um, what you're seeing on the screen. Like to us, it looks much bigger in real life. But yeah, this is a great spot if you want to just sit and enjoy the lights at the Eiffel Tower. Vivek actually had a Pad Thai vegetarian and I was surprised how good it was. And I had some French fries while in France. Ketchup took a while to arrive. Yeah. They have it with mayo here, and I'm having what they call an Americano, but it's really a Negroni. <laughs> American Negroni. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're just unwinding now. Um, it's 10 something right now at night. We're gonna go home, sleep early, and then start packing tomorrow morning to head to the airport so that we can fly off to New York. Bye.